Welcome back to the book of Genesis. Today we're going to tackle chapter 48. We are almost done with the book of Genesis. Let's get it. Jacob blesses Joseph's sons. Chapter 48. Now it came to pass after these things that Joseph was told, indeed, your father is sick, and he took with him his two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. And Jacob was told, Look, your son Joseph is coming to you. And Israel strengthened, straightened himself up, himself, and sat up on the bed. Then Jacob said to Joseph, God Almighty appeared to me at Lutz in the land of Canaan and blessed me. Verse 4, And said to me, Behold, I will make you fruitful and multiply you and i will make you a, make of you a multitude of people and give this land to your descendants after you as an everlasting possession verse 5 and now your two sons ephraim and manasseh who were born to you in the land of egypt where i came to you in egypt are mine as reuben and simon they shall be mine. Verse 6. Your offspring who you begot after them shall be yours and will be called by the name of their brothers in their inheritance. But as for me, when I came from Paddan, Rachel died beside me in the land of Canaan on the way when there was but little distance to go to Ephrath, and I buried her there on the way to Ephrath, and that is Bethlehem. Verse 8, Then Israel saw Joseph's son and said, Who are these? And Joseph said to his father, They are my sons whom God has given me in this place. And he said, Please bring them to me, and I will bless them. Verse 10, now the eyes of Israel were dim with age, so that he could not see. Then Joseph brought them near him, and he kissed them and embraced them. And Israel said to Joseph, I had not a thought to see your face, but in fact God has also shown me your offspring. Verse 12, so Joseph brought them from beside his knees, and he bowed down with his face to the earth. And Joseph took them both, Ephraim with his right hand towards Israel's left hand, and Manasseh with his left hand towards Israel's right hand, and brought them, to, brought them near him. Verse 14, Then Israel stretched out his right hand and laid it on Ephraim's head, who was a younger, and his left hand on Manasseh's head, guiding his hands knowingly, for Manasseh was the firstborn. And he blessed Joseph and said, God before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac walked, the God who has fed me all my life long to this day, the angel who has redeemed me from all evil, bless the lads. Let my name be named upon them. In the name of my fathers Abraham and Isaac, and let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. Now when Joseph saw that his father laid his right hand on the head of Ephraim, it displeased him. So he took hold of his father's hand and removed it from Ephraim's head to Manasseh's head. And Joseph said to his father, not so, my father, for this one is the firstborn. Put your right hand on his head. But his father refused and said, I know, my son, I know he also shall become a people, and he also shall be great. But truly his younger brother shall be greater than he, and his descendants shall become a multitude of nations. Verse 20 so he blessed them that day, saying, By you Israel will bless, saying, My God, make sure, may God make sure 
as Ephraim and Manasseh, and thus he set Ephraim before Manasseh. Then Israel said to Joseph, Behold, I am dying, but God will be with you and bring you back to the land of your fathers. Verse 22, Moreover, I have given to you one portion above your brothers, and I took from the hand of the Amorite with my sword and my bow. End of chapter 48. Well, we are seeing Jacob, Israel's final days, if not final hours here. And something caught my eye here. Uh, verse 15. God, before whom my fathers Abraham, Isaac, walked, the God who has fed me all of my life long to this day, the angel who has redeemed me from all evil. That is Jesus Christ right there. The angel who has redeemed me from all evil. That is what Jesus Christ does for us. He buys us. He paid the price for us so that we can be saved. We are continuing now with chapter 49. And here we go. Let's get it. Jacob's last words to his sons. Chapter 49. And Jacob called his sons and said, Gather together that I may tell you what shall befall you in the last days. Gather together and hear you sons of Jacob, and listen to Israel your father. Reuben, you are my firstborn, my might and beginning of my strength, the exceedingly of dignity and the excellency of power. Unstable as water, you shall not excel. Because you went to your father's bed, then you defiled it. He went up to my couch. Verse 5, Simon and Levi are brothers, instrumental of cru instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. Let not my soul enter their counsel. Let not, not my honor be untitled to, united to their assembly. For in their anger they have slew a man. And in their self-will, they hamstrung an ox. Cursed be their anger, for it is fierce, and their wrath, for it is cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. Verse 8. Judah, you are he whom your brothers shall praise. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's children shall bow down before you. Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey, my son, you have gone up. He bows down, he lies down as a lion, and as a lion, who shall rouse him? Verse 10, the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet. Until Shiloh comes, and to him shall be the obediency of the people. Binding his donkey to the vine, and his donkey's colt to the choice vine. He washed his garments in wine, and his clothes in the blood of the grapes. Verse 12. His eyes are darker than wine, his teeth whiter than milk. Zebulun shall dwell by the heaven of the sea. He shall become a haven for ships, and his border shall adjourn Sidon. Verse 14. Issachar is a strong donkey lying down between two burdens. He saw that the rest was good and that the land was pleasant. He bowed his shoulder to bear a burden and become a band of slaves. Verse 16, Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Dan shall be a serpent by the way, a viper by the path that bites a horse's heel so it, its rider shall fall backwards. I have waited for your salvation, O Lord. 
again a troop shall tramp up upon him, but he shall triumph at last. Verse 20, bread from Asher shall be rich, and he shall yield royal dainties. Verse 21, Nephalus is a deer let loose. He gives goodly words. 22, verse 22, Joseph is a fruitful brow, a fruitful brow by well. His branches run over the wall. The archers have bitterly grieved him, shot at him, and hated him. But his bow remains in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From there is the shepherd, the stone of Israel, by the God of your fathers who will help you, and by the Almighty who will bless you with blessings of heaven above. Blessings of the deep that lie beneath. Blessings of the breath and of the womb. Verse 26. The blessings of your father have excelled the blessings of my ancestors. Up to the utmost bound of the everlasting hills. They shall be on the head of Joseph. And on the crown of the head of him who was separate from his brothers. Verse 27, Benjamin is a ravenous wolf in the morning. He shall devour the prey. At night he shall divide the spoil. Verse 28, All these are the twelve tribes of Israel, and this is what their father spoke to them. He blessed them. He blessed each one according to his own blessing. Verse 29, Jacob's death and burial. Then he charged them and said to them, I am to be gathered to my people, bury me with my fathers in the cave that is in the field of Ephraim and Hittite. Verse 30, in the cave that is in the field of Machapath, which is before Mamre in the land of Canaan, which Abraham, Abraham brought, bought with the field of Ephraim and Hytel as a possession for a burial place. There they buried Abraham and Sarah, his wife. There they buried Isaac and Rebekah, his wife. And there I buried Leah. The field and the caves that is there were purchased from the sons of Heth. And when Jacob had finished commanding his sons, he drew his feet up to the bed and breathed his last. He was gathered to his people. And that is the end of verse 49. We saw Jacob, Israel, making his last statements to all of his sons, the 12 tribes of Israel. Those are the 12 tribes that make up the nation of Israel. I am very curious. I have not ever looked up to see where the burial of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are at. It tells us here that they are all buried together and Jacob is being added to that where that is at. It is in the land of Canaan. I'm going to have to Google that and look it up and see. Uh, it will be interesting to see. Well, in our next video, we will tackle the very last chapter of Genesis, chapter 50. It has been a long chapter and an enjoyable one. I enjoy reading this, and I hope to continue reading the Bible for the rest of my life because it's just something that I feel everybody should do, and you just cannot, uh, you just cannot get enough out of it in my opinion. So that is it for now. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time in the book of Genesis. Thanks for watching. God bless.